Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last episode we started climbing through the ranks and we have made it to rank number 14. Today I'm hoping to get our rank in at least a single digit, so let's go do that. Yeah, let me in buddy. Don't be blocking me from going into my own locker room. Alright, let's reserve the next match. Let's do it. Hi buddy. Well boy howdy Gonzalez, fix him for a fight, huh? Alright then, let me see here. Your next opponent is rank 13, the Mind Bogglers. Mind Bogglers, huh? Are they going to boggle my mind? We're in Mario World. Nothing boggles my mind anymore in here. Now listen son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their flower points. Alright, no flower points. Got it buddy. We'll be fine. Alright buddy, I'm waiting. Whoa! Gonzalez match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, bub, I will follow you. Oh, match time. Well, I don't know what else I was expecting. Uh, the mind bug was, of course, to be uh, enemies I saw in the bug we woods. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Ooh, those are fighting words, buddy. Let's see if you can back them up. Remember, don't use any flower points. I can do that. Oh, that guy's got an item on him. Ooh, I don't like the looks of that. Oh yeah, backflip. Oh yeah! Alright, he's gone, didn't get a chance to use whatever that was he was carrying. <laughs> Even when I don't block, he can't. Poops can't take any damage. I like that. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do anything, I'm afraid. So let's get Goombella back out. Oh, you're hitting Goombella. All right, now you're down on lower level. Uh, I missed the time for the appeal in the air. That's fine. Hey, there we go. I got the double hit down. Nice. And we win just like that. We got ourselves a winner, folks. The Great Gonzalez. What'd you expect, huh? We rock. Yeah, you tell him, Goombella. You pick a fight with the Mario, you're picking the wrong guy to pick a fight with. He's called a merciless ex executioner for a reason, you know. Ooh, fight money. Six coins, nice. My rank now is 13. Now if you excuse me, I must be going. Alright. Yeah, of course they're going to be talking to me. That's kind of become a thing, Nate. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, Did you dig? After the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. Don't worry, K Double K, I won't forget you. Also, it's kind of sad you want to retire, like, here, down in the minor leagues, you know? Like, you think you want to at least get into the major leagues before you think about retiring, right? Well, that's sad. Yeah, fixing for a fight, our next opponent is ranked number 12, the Punk Rocks. Probably gonna be a bunch of rocks. Avoid switching partners out. Okay, well, we're gonna have to keep you in, Goombella. Ah, we'll be fine. Gonzalez's match time, follow me, bub. Okie dokie, let's go! Although I'm thinking I probably should have uh, brought in uh, Koops before I got into the battle. Oh well, it's fine. We just can't swap my partners, so I can put Goombella in the front, do a tattle, and then take care of these guys using uh, Earth Tremor. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so we start off with the tattle. Oh yeah! Hyper Bull Quest. Like Quefts and Bull Quefts, this is also a rock monster. Maximum HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 2. And they boost their attack just like they did in the original Paper Mario. 
Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not gonna give him a chance. Because I just gotta push A with perfect timing. Here we go. I love this attack. Shit! How'd I screw up? It doesn't matter. We did enough damage to get the win. Boom! That's what I like to see. Got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzales! See? No biggie! You know what, Goomba? I never doubted it for a moment. Fight money. Seven coins. Now we're ranked 12. Excuse me, I must be going now. Okay. Well, Double K, are you gonna have something else to share with me? No? Well, that's a shock. Oh, he, he's gone. I guess he really did retire. Well, next match. Let's do it. Well, boy, howdy. Fix, fix him for a fight. Your next opponent will be ranked 11. The Bob bomb Squad. Didn't we already fight the Bob bomb Squad? Avoid switching partners out. Alright. Uh, I'll just leave Goombella in then. Go for the tattle, you know. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! It's match time for me, bub. Here we go! So how many Bob bombs are we going to be fighting? Four of them, okay. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Yeah. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have a vice. Just give up now, Bomb Bomb. Oh, you're the guy that I share a locker room with. Oh, okay. We finally meet. Bomb 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 Bomb. Oh, you got something. Uh, let's start off with a tattle. That's a Bomb Bomb. It's by blowing itself up. Yeah, I'm real smart. I know. Alright. HP of 4. Mmm, that could be a thing. Oh, yeah! Oh, now they're gonna explode. Hey, one of them got taken out! Oh, ow. Oh, you made your friend invisible. Or, or did he explode? You made your friend explode! Ow! Oh well, we win in the end anyways. I remember that cave was supposed to do it, supposed to make you invisible. But since he was lit up, uh he just made him explode. See, no biggie. Yeah, they practically took care of themselves. <laughs> Gotta be honest there. Fight money, yay. Rank eleven. We almost made it to single digits, and yeah, as you guys you guys know, I told you that's my goal for today. Getting them single digits. Oh, it is quite lonely if all King K around, Bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Now him not here. Some normal to Quector. You are in Bomb denial, Quector. I saw you weeping in that locker, Bomb Bomb. Oh. Oh, hi! Right this way, Sir Swoop. This is your dressing room now. You're starting in the minor leagues, of course, as you're just now started your career. If you don't like this thing in your room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. That's exactly what she told me. When you're ready to fight, just, uh... Yeah, okay, you're not talking to me. You're talking to that guy. He is the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? He, he, don't worry. She, she said the same thing to me. You'll get used to it, buddy. Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, my son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up. So do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. He, he's a bat, not a cat. I don't know how he's going to meow. You got any questions about uh, detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Doreen, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your bow is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops their opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lo Okay, I've already gone through this myself, so I don't need to listen to this again. 
Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Uh, Sir Swoop. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Mario. I'm also new here. You, yes you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security is here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Wow, he... Is this first day and you already have no confidence in him? Also, what's with you guys being so disrespectful to the Goomer Bros? Like, I know they're at the bottom of the ranks, but... Jeez! You already count those guys out. Give them some credit, you know? They're trying! They may be stuck in the bottom, bottom of the barrel, but... Come on! Give them some credit, you know? Like, they're even in the rankings. That's gotta mean something, right? Yeah, I'm fixing for a fight. My next opponent is... Rank 10, the Armored Harriers. Armored Harriers, huh? That's right, you're daring to then. You're finally making a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so... Don't you go uh, letting us down now, you hear? Now, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or left. I gotta do it in five turns, okay. Gotcha, buddy. I can do that. Whoa! It's match time. Follow me, bub. Okie dokie! And now, today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th ranked. Great Gonzalez! Uh, that's the Merciless Executioner. I told you, I changed my name. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the Merciless Executioner in here, folks. I'm not going to read the rest of that because, as you guys know, that's my name. I didn't read anything they were saying to me, but we got the crowd on our side. And that's always nice to hear. Nice to hear. Hooey! Great guns, always. Uh, how you feeling? <laughs> <Perfect>. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Yep. Oh, and here they are. Good gravy. Whoa, are these spikes legal? Um, my hammer is legal. I'm guessing the spikes are legal, too. And these aren't the first uh, spike uh, opponents we have dealt with. Your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. That is not what I said. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. I, I feel like I'm being personally called out here. Um, yeah, and then he said, Oh, the belly buttons running their family. Stick wads, or stink wads. You're, you're, that, that is not what I said. I just burped in their face, buddy. And so on, yep, that's what he said. What? How does he know mom has an Odie? That jerk. We're gonna blend him up into a smoothie pill, and then we're gonna drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, these smelly stink wads call our people stink wads. You understand, you stink wad? Think about what you just said there. <laughs> Simmer down there, bro, you stink wad. You're gonna regret opening your yep, you pal. See, see these bars? So iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in a very short time, you have left with a functional brain. Oh, mamma mia! I don't even have a functioning brain! Alright, here we go! We have five turns to do this. <laughs> Give up now! Never! First, I'm gonna tattle on you. Iron Crab, that guy is scary. Period. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Crabs. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Crab. So its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way we can beat it is to whack it with the R1. Oh, we can't do this yet. Yeah, we can't do this yet. I... 
Yeah, okay. I must retreat! We got ourselves a winner! The Armored Harriers! <laughs> How'd you like that? He tried to tell you, but no, you don't listen. If you want our piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Yeah, we don't... We need an ally we don't have yet. Hey, we still get paid, though. Only one coin, though. Remains at 11. Well, at least it didn't drop. Hi. Hey, tough luck, mister. Hey, my run Grisville might cheer you up. Yeah, eat one of those hot dogs and you'll feel great. They might help you win. Thanks, buddy! Well, I'm gonna do that. Because I'm not gonna move through the ranks right now. Because I, I need something. Or someone. Progress is saved. Oh, my way, buddy. Oh, hello. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? Um, awfully sorry, Mr. Ween. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find anything. Mm, fine. Leave the rest of the matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. Oh. Hello! You, Mr. Gonzalez. This is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Uh, it, it's a public hallway. Well, it's not exactly public. Like, only fighters are allowed back here. But... Hey, I'm allowed to leave as I please as long as I stay in Gwitzville. What's your problem, lady? Oh, I didn't want to double save, but I guess we're double saving. Alright. Oh, hi! Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? I'm pretty good. Me? I'm doing a little... Uh, research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Gwitz Pit? No! This place has rumors and secrets and spades, but... The Seven Wonders of the Gwitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's see. Which one do you want to hear about the most? Hmm, let's see. The sealed wall. The man in toilet. I think the sealed wall is that wall in our, uh, in our locker room that we kind of need something to break through. The stairs of mystery. The haunted, uh, Buddha Warrior. The spooky red lights. The missing ones, Gruba and Joey. Tell me about them, sure. Gruba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Joanne. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into a bathroom and waited for, for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone stalked out, stalked out her bathroom? Good point. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Maybe we'll figure out the secrets of uh, Gwitzville, won't we? Oh boy, sounds like the crowd is really into it. Oh boy! Oh, that's why, Rockhawk. Well, well, Mr. Mustache, so you're a fighter now, hmm? Well, I suppose I'll cheer you from the shadows, my sweetie. That thanks. Someday that'll be me. With the crowd cheering. No, bad, so very bad. Behave yourself, egg. Oh? Oh, Eggy! No, back, come back, help! My impo my important egg escaped. Somebody catch it! Leave it to me! <laughs> so bad, it does not even have arms and legs, and still I cannot catch it. My menu is going to have the southern fried egg dog of tastiness, but now bad. I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping too! Don't just stand there, help catch it! Okie dokie! Do I have to smack it with my hammer? Or do I just have to walk up to it? Oh, I got it! 
And now it's up there. Most awfully bad. Come down from there, you egg. Don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. I already know a way to get up there. Oh, I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about giving the egg to you, though. It's pretty alive and you want it, you want to serve it on your menu. No, I, I don't know about that. I don't feel good. I don't feel good about doing that. Hello. Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You want us to help you, little eggy weggy? It's so adorable. What should we do? Uh, help the little egg, egg of course. I won't tell you with you on this one, Mario. We'll let you go, little buddy. Is that okay with you too, Mr. Hot Dog Stand guy? Ah, uh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyways. Awesome, did you hear that, little eggy weggy? You're free. See you around. Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You want to follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let him? Sure! You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? Well, we got an egg with us. And... Oh! I got an email. Let's uh, check it out. RDM issue 2. Otoad settles in. It's come to light that after setting into life at the end, Toad's worth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, who is age 55. Oh, is there a little relationship blooming between uh, Zesty and Toad's worth? The notoriously freaking Zesty surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending some time with my little to Toady to Toes? To Toto Toes. My god, I cannot read today. The possibility such a comment opens has our eyes and our ears glued on to the situation. Shop reporter, go. Our focus of attention this week, Pumpkin's Great Tree Shop. Oh, we know that guy. Uh, I I'm done reading with this. So, nice to know that Toadsworth is, uh, he's found someone that's captured his heart. So I think I have to do the fight and then lose again because uh, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, causes this egg that I have to hatch. Because I need what's inside the egg to uh, actually beat the beat the guys. Mario, come on now. We gotta win this time around. You gotta believe. Give them no. Let's think wise. You're about to learn about our skills the hard way. I actually want to see if this will work. Probably not because, you know, defense unknown, right? Yeah. Run away! Victory is impossible! The only way to hurt them is with each other. Now you must be going and I believe our egg is gone. Hey, check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Hmm. Yo. Huh? Yoshi! Are you a new fighter? Gonzalez? Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. Hey, the egg hatched! What? You? Were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild, man. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? How you know about being champions and how you know about the crystal star? You were just born, and I don't think anybody in here knows what Crystal Star is except for me. So how do you know about Crystal Stars? I heard all about it while I was in, in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I want to repay you for saving me from that old hoggle out there. So I'll fight with you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest. Just believe it. Huh? My name? Uh, let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. Uh, you seem fired up about it, so... Why don't you give me one? Make it sound cute, okay? Hmm, I get to name you. What do I want to name this uh, little Yoshi guy? You know what? Since he has uh, spiky hair, I guess I'll name him Spike. Yeah. I had a nerd name in mind if he was red. Like, the Yoshi comes out in multiple colors, but I just happened to get a green one. So, yeah, we'll go with Spike. Your name is Spike. Hmm, Spike, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez. Let's get out there and do some damage. Yay! 
The OC is now your friend. He'll answer the spike. Yay! Yoshi's abilities, a primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Oh, I see why I named him Spike. Because he is kind of like a Lacoster with a beacon ride on him. While riding Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Yay! Look at us go! Also, while in the air, you press A, he'll. Fo okay, he'll briefly flow in the air. Alright. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use Gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out. And that is why we had to hatch Yoshi for the next fight. Now that we got a little Yoshi, buddy, now we stand a chance. And you know what? As far as actually going into the major leagues, um, I'm going to say that for the next episode, alright? So thank you everyone for joining me and coming back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.